circular water tank with flexible base numerical example myself chetan ji kunapure assistant professor department of civil engineering walchand institute of technology solapur now at the end of uh, this session the students will be able to design and detail the circular water tank with flexible base resting on ground so designing as well as detailing of the reinforcement these two are the outcomes expected at the end of this uh, session now let us see the problem so actually a uh, problem is given uh, for the design and based on that uh, dimensioning shall be made and for that dimension the design and detailing is uh, shall be done by the student now this is the problem design a water tank with flexible base resting on ground to store 50000 liters of water use m25 grade of concrete and fe415 steel now this uh, is a tank which is resting on ground so flat bearing area is available and on that uh, water tank is to be designed and the capacity is 50000 liters now what is the uh, further stage or step to carry out the design first let us see what is the capacity of the tank 50000 liters so 1 meter cube is 1000 liters so that's why this is the 50 meter cube is the volume of this tank that is the capacity of the tank now let us consider the height especially uh, there is no direct guidelines but uh, the heights are considered from 2.5 meter up to 5 meter so there there, there it should be uh, at least 2.5 meter so that a reasonable height is there in which uh, the reinforcement can be accommodated and maximum 5 or uh, maximum 6 meter means the cantilever action of that uh, wall shall not increase in that way the height is decided here we are considering 4 meter as a height and this is the calculation for diameter now area of tank into height of the tank that is equal to volume of tank okay so volume is area into the height that is a uh, uh, geometrical expression so pi by 4 d square which where d is the diameter of the tank into height is equal to 50 meter cube so this will give you the diameter of tank 3.989 meter so let us provide 4 meter diameter round figure value and the free board for this is 200 mm so free board is provided uh, so to, to accommodate the vapor pressure as well as even uh, some uh, space shall be there uh, above the water level so that is the free board and the total height of the tank is uh, actual 4 meter height is considered plus free board 0.2 4.2 so in capacity calculation the free board height is not considered so unit weight of water 9.8 kN per meter cube now let us uh, start the design part of uh, this water tank let us see the permissible tensile stress in fe415 steel that is 150 N per mm square permissible tensile stress in concrete 1.3 newton per mm square and that is for m20 grade of concrete now let's see what is the maximum hoop tension hoop tension is a circumferential uh, tension because of the water load uh, in case of flexible base flexible base means uh, the, there may be the um, uh, displacement allowed it is not completely restrained at the base that's why whatever action uh, uh, will take place that is of hoop tension and that hook tension is gamma h d by 2 and you can see the calculation here that is 9.8 into 4.2 into 4 divided by 2 whereas 4.2 is the height 4 is the diameter of uh, tank so the hook tension is 82.32 kN per meter height at base so at base of the tank 82.32 kN is the hook tension for 1 meter height now the area of steel required for this hook tension that is directly the this is the force circumferential or tens, uh, hook tension force divided by the stress in steel permissible stress in steel and it is 548.8 mm square now for this uh, uh, ast required in 1 meter let us use 12 mm bar 
and the spacing for this 12 mm bar that is the area of one bar into 1000 divided by the calculated area of steel and after this calculation uh, 206 mm is the spacing required now the, let us round off this 206 that's why uh, we can uh, place the steel uh, properly uh, so that just 12 mm bars we shall we will provide 200 mm center to center now this is altered so 206 is required 200 is provided that's why steel actual what is provided that uh, we should we will calculate that is the area of one bar into the 1000 divided by the provided spacing 200 that will give you the provided area that is 565.5 mm square per meter height at base even this spacing we can increase up to 300 mm at a height of 1.5 meter from the base so above that we can increase the spacing right up to the 1.5 meter the spacing must be 12 mm for 1200 mm center to center and uh, above that you can increase 300 also okay now this is the dimensioning and design for thickness of the wall so the tank in which uh, base is flexible major force is hoop tension so when the restraint is not provided the tank wall will not be subjected to any bending moment only it is subjected to the hoop tension circumferential tension and that will be carried out by the steel horizontal steel so the horizontal steel already we have discussed now the thickness of wall is important for this maximum hoop tension what shall be the thickness so that there shall not be any tensile crack in the this uh, rcc vertical wall okay so now this is permissible stress and tension for the water tank that is 1.3 newton per mm square so the modular ratio calculation for m20 grade of concrete m is equal to 280 upon 3 sigma cbc sigma cbc for m20 grade of concrete is 8.5 so 280 divided by 3 into 8.5 so your modular ratio is 11 now let us see if the thick t is the thickness of wall so whatever force is there that is the circumferential force divided by the concrete area so that the stress shall not exceed the uh, permissible stress in tension 1.3 this is the concept behind this so the t is the thickness of wall so equivalent area of concrete per meter height that is 1 meter this is 1000 mm means 1 meter into t this is the concrete area plus m minus 1 into ash the steel which is provided for the hoop tension it is converted into the concrete by modular ratio okay so this calculation is to conversion of the steel into the concrete and this is the area okay so sigma c that is the permissible tensile stress in this section that is t hoop tension divided by the equivalent area of the concrete per meter height so 1.3 is the maximum or permissible stress 1.3 newton per mm square so in this entire calculation t is unknown that is the thickness of wall so for 1.3 newton per mm square permissible stress what shall be the t t calculation shows it is 57.66 mm now 56 is 7 is the required but uh, at least 100 mm thickness shall be provided to accommodate the reinforcement as well as the concrete. So we are providing thickness of wall as 100 mm. Okay, let us go to the vertical steel because horizontal steel is designed for the hoop tension that is 1200 mm, 12 mm bar, uh, 200 center to center. So in vertical direction, the reinforcement is required from from the criteria of minimum reinforcement so minimum reinforcement is required that ast minimum is 0.3 percent of the section now 0.3 percent is 0 0.3 divided by 100 100 mm is the thickness of wall one meter that is the strip which is considered that is the one meter length strip is considered for the design and that ast minimum is 300 mm square now for this ast minimum uh, this uh, must be distributed in both the direction vertical direction and uh, the steel uh, shall be provided on uh, inner face of uh, wall so using 8 mm bars spacing is area of one bar into 1000 divided by the steel required that is 167 mm so provide 8 mm bars at 150 mm center to center this is the vertical steel 
last uh, the design part is the base lab base lab actually the base lab is provided uh, on the ground so this tank is resting on ground that's why there is a bearing area available so 75 mm pcc we can make and on that this base lab uh, can uh, can be cast mm. so the thickness of the base lab it is taken 150 mm with minimum reinforcement in both direction so ast minimum required for this 150 50 mm thickness is 450 mm square you can see this calculation and this 450 mm steel required is must be provided on both side of the uh, slab at the top uh, uh, top of the slab as well as bottom of the slab in both the direction so provide half reinforcement near each face that's why ast is 225 mm square and using 8 mm bars the spacing required for this is 223 mm let us provide this 8 mm bars at 220 mm center center on both faces in both direction now this is the question for all of you horizontal steel in vertical wall is designed for what action so these are the four options a b c d you pause the video give the answer for this and uh, you can proceed the video yes the answer is a hoop tension now next is the reinforcement of this uh, detailing of the reinforcement of water tank with flexible base you can see the thickness is 100 mm reinforcement uh, for bottom 1.5 meter is 12 mm about 200 center to center and it is increased after that 300 so uh, above 1.5 meter vertical steel is 8 mm 150 center to center and this base lab its thickness is again 150 and the 8 mm at 200 mm center to center on both faces at top and bottom in each direction this is the vertical wall and this is the base lab and here the joint ceiling compound is used so that the lateral movement is ex expected so that the base is made flexible this is the reference for this uh, video thank you